Creating system played asterisk, and I'm slowly losing my sanity. I mean, today I'm going to be talking about Texas State Route 87. Now this may just seem like some random route in Texas, and yeah, it kind of is, but just like the road I covered in my last video talking about a road not that long ago, this route finds itself in quite an interesting circumstance. This is a map of the route I grabbed off of Wikipedia, I mean not unlike the rest of the information in this video. What is immediately obvious when looking at this map is, why is there a massive gap in the highway? Like right here? Well, that's what this video is about. First, some background info. I want some cheeseburgers just to eat. The route goes from Galveston, Texas to Timston, spanning 249 miles across sweet old eastern Texas. There's a bit of interesting history surrounding the route. When construction workers were doing construction worker things, they accidentally discovered some cannonballs just, you know, hanging out beneath the ground. The cannonballs are from the Civil War back when the Confederates had a fort there. Now for the actual interesting part of the video where I actually answered a question. I remember eating outside with my whole team. So why is there a gap in the highway, you may ask? Well, I have one word for you. Hurricanes. Texas gets a share fair. What? Texas gets its fair share of hurricanes. You know, being next to the Gulf of Mexico and all. Can you take a wild guess of what is also next to the Gulf of Mexico? Texas State Route 87. The road is not that far away from the water at all, so if a hypothetical hurricane hit Texas, you know, that road's kind of gonna get washed out. And of course it's gonna get hit by a hurricane, because you can't have shit in Texas. In 1980, Hurricane Allen hit Texas, which caused plenty of erosion along the coast, and that included the highway. But Mother Nature wasn't finished yet. The true nail in the coffin for the route was Hurricane Jerry, which caused even more erosion on top of the erosion that was already there thanks to Hurricane Allen. The affected portion of the route was closed in 1990 and has remained so ever since. Since then, the route has continued to fall into disrepair. The state of the highway is so bad in some places, I mean, can you even call the road at this point? Some of it's just gravel, some of it's just chunks of asphalt, you know, just littering the beach. You know, the stuff roads are typically supposed to do. Other parts can't even be seen as the road is slowly being reclaimed by nature. Now you may ask if the highway will ever be rebuilt. Most likely not anytime soon. The suggestion has been brought up countless times, but no action by the Texas Department of Transportation has been done. It will just continue to deteriorate as hurricane after hurricane hits Texas, and eventually nature will reclaim it. Thank you so much for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed this one. Texas State Route 87 has been on my mind ever since I accidentally discovered its Wikipedia page. Anyways, I'll have more content later. I hope you have a good day. Bye.